What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to this Destiny 2 video showing you the scores of the past raid boss defeat that we did. So this here we did the five man in two phases uh, and I thought I'd just upload it to show you it obviously and continue on from where we left off on this raid part. So doing this was myself, uh, Jenna, Andrew, Andy and Jason. So there's two Australians which is Andy and Jason and then myself, Jenna and Andrew are from the UK. So we'll start this mission off here. What you got to do first of all is take out this first berserker. You can see Jenna and that are doing there. Take him down the same as you did Berserkers in the, um, the first three. We found that actually you could use um, a pistol, and pretty much one person can take the shield off with just the pistol. Once you get him down, let the person who's going to be at the map grab the first ball and dunk it over to my left hand side. Once you dunk it, you'll bring up the map right in front of me here. We've got two people, which is Andy and Andrew, at the back. So Andy is on the left, it's iCerts on the left, and then on the right we've got iGame613 which is Andrew and they are going to be taking the back side of the boss um, you can see on the map again it looks pretty much the same as the first map room so Berserk will have a ball over his head so we need to get so we set the front to first of all help Jason clear the map room and then we'll look at the boss in a second you'll see there's some shields on him some little white plates so you can see on his knees there's some there there's also under his armpits on his shoulder and then some on his back um, once you take them down you can see there and on his back once you've taken them down you've also got to keep an eye on his back for shields there's three places there's one on the back which is directly in the center um, like on the top in between his shoulder blades you have one on his left arm there you can see you take that one down and then one on his right arm and you've got to take them down to keep your time going if you don't take them down then the boss will basically kill you and wipe you and I also find the best guns to run for this are you want a scout rifle, again me and Jenna are pistols so that we can do the berserkers and then a whisper of the worm if you have it, uh, fully masterworked, is absolutely beast as you'll see when we do the boss fight in a minute. And again you can see the arm again, I take this one out with my whisper because it's just one shot and I didn't have a secondary sniper. Um, also make sure you're running like perks and stuff where you can get extra heavy ammo drop and things like that because you really will need your heavy ammo. Um, like I said, you'll, when we do the boss phase in a minute, you'll see once we have heavy ammo, we absolutely melt the boss. And there's a uh, CAP, so the cap phase, or the, the buffs. So A, we do right at the boss's feet. C is to the back left, and P is to the back right of the boss. And you'll see when we do that, when you're standing in a pair with somebody who also has um, either, I think it's circular, angular, and parallel. And if you have a pair with somebody else, you get double the damage, basically, or increased damage. And that buff really helps. And if you're still with somebody who doesn't, who has a separate buff, it will actually be really detrimental and cause you damage and end up killing you. So we pick up the first set of balls, and then Jason, who's reading the map room, will tell us where to go. I haven't included the sound in this video, but when we do it next time, I will be, and I'll be uploading that, showing you our run through of that. Um, but this one here is going to one, which is up the top. Three is what I've just gone past, and two is to the bottom right of the map. Um, and then again, the berserkers spawn in separate locations around the map, um, but they're pretty easy to find. Another thing you want to look out for is all of the snipers and things. So you can see in a minute when me and Jenna are on, or once we've dunked the boars, we then help take out snipers and help with the boss with the arm and the shields and you know everything like that. So the Berserker team have to pretty much do everything as well. You can see he's got that's showing he's got his central back uh, turret up or turbine. And you want to take that one down. And then again you get arc shield uh, captains which you need to take down as well because these guys do a lot of damage. And are a pain in the ass when you're trying to do the boss phase, uh, shooting you in the back. Which again, you don't want that really. Again, this video is just showing you our, our completion of it. We've completed it, I think, three times now, so not even that much. But again, we've not really been doing raids too often. And Jason managed to get the anarchy on the first run, and you'll see it under this one that um, Andy managed to get the anarchy on his second completion, which is a bloody annoyance because me, Jenna, and Andrew still need to get ours, and so does Matthew. But you know, it's all good fun. So what we're doing here is we're actually doing a little bit of a, a cheese where we can um, cleanse ourselves, get rid of the ionization, so we can do the berserkers quicker. There's two separate spots. The first one is where I'll show you there at the back, and the other one is where we spawn in near the boss room. Use them so you can ionize yourself, so you can actually cleanse and pick up the boss, uh, the berserker balls quicker. Again, if you die as well, you can then pick up the balls because it's cleansed you then as well. Um, you do have to watch out though, because when you die after, I think, your second or third death as a team, only certain people can then pick up the players. So if you've got like a stack of three or four, sometimes you'll be left where you can't actually pick up one of the players. There'll be like a, a skull over them, so you can't pick them up. And if you have that, it will actually wipe you in after a certain time. Um, but you can see what we do here is we try and take down some of the enemies while we're waiting for the berserkers. Rather than rush the berserkers, get rid of the enemies so that it's you know a little bit easier when it comes to the boss phase. And now it's just a case of going to the next berserker. And you'll see here, I kind of forgot where he was, so I was waiting for Jason to shout it out again. And then Jenna's obviously going to come out and show me as well where that one was. Um, 
So I'm just taking out all the little enemies, waiting for it to be, you know, showered it's down here or wherever it was. Um, I misheard the call and went up to the top right instead of the bottom right. But again, you can see the berserkers around. There's nothing in here, so you know, right, it's not there. Saw where Jenna was, and I was like, ah, okay. Go down here, help her kill this berserker, and then we'll get on to the boss phase. So you do two sets of berserkers, so four boars. Once you dunk your fourth ball, you will then get your tanks up and use the tanks to stun the boss. But you also want to use the R1 to take out some of the small enemies. Um, you see, taking this berserker is pretty easy now for us. You know, we're high enough level. You can one, you know, solo this one to be honest. Jenna can take down the berserkers by herself. I can as well. Uh, you pick up an orb or the boars, so I'll shout balls, and then Jason will look at the map and tell me which number I need to take this to. One, two, three, or four. So two to my left. One is up the back middle, as I said, and three is the bottom left of the map. So we're taking these boards, you'll see Jenna at the bottom as well. I think she's also coming up to one. And this will then um, get your tanks dropped. Once you have the tanks, you can then hit the boss with the R2 big pellet and it will stun him. And once he's stunned, he'll bring out a uh, servitor from his stomach and that is what you damage. So see from here, we hit this and then see where the boss is. We try and keep him in the middle. Best place when R1, get some of these small enemies and see where he is, hit him because he's in a really good position. And that one didn't take because we needed to get the back um, turbine down. There he is, stun him there, and you can see what it's like. So there's the server to shoot. And then with the whisper on standard whispered breathing, you get 17,000. So it's pretty good. And then you'll see here now on the left-hand side, charge with light. Just above that, I've got continuous. So I go to the back left. Somebody else will join me. My golden gun now gets 379,000. And my whisper goes up from 17,000 to 64 thousand damage you can see the damage we're taking off the boss now is dropping super fast and then every so often it will change you know the phase uh, radiance and you'll move to C A or piece of continuous angle or parallel I was like I didn't have to move so I was able to just sit and keep hitting the boss use up all my ammo and then you shout move once the boss puts him away and you can see how far down we got him with six people we would have one phase that but again we got a good damage and then it's again turn back to shooting the plates once your plates are off then it's a case of shooting down the back turbines on the arm, shoulder or the back and then once that's done again it's the berserker balls and rinse and repeat you get I believe four phases maximum to be able to do it um, and like I said we did this in two phases so you'll see in a minute it's not very long left on the video it's another five minutes um, of us going down as well in a minute once we've completed this part this is a really fun raid really enjoyed doing this um, and we're going to be doing some more of the raids soon uh, we're at the moment trying to farm for the anarchy so we've got save points for the boss point um, so that means I'll be able to get some more boss raid part videos out for this one soon and then we'll be moving on to things like the leviathan raid and you know all the other raids in the future but yeah if you enjoy this video guys hit that like button if you are new please do drop a sub and a follow it is greatly appreciated feel free to comment as well down below and yeah let's just continue on with this video so you can see jenna just went past me there she's going up to where the berserker is i'm gonna follow up now i'll just take down some of the small enemies just trying to help out um but yeah, overall this is a really good mission. With five of us, we've you know we've pretty much got this absolutely nailed now. We did it with six previously with Matthew, and we did it again. We got a clear on that pretty easy. And now we all know what we're doing. We're able to, you know, pretty much do this in two phases, and we'll be good to go and start farming basically for the anarchy, which is basically why we're doing this. Uh, is for the anarchy grenade launcher, um, which is a really good heavy grenade launcher. So again, I'm taking the ball to the next point. So Jason's shouting out, I'm waiting. So this one's to three, I believe. So again, jump, press R1, gets you to do this little bit of a boost. You can use, also use the R1 if you want to hit enemies. It does a bit of damage, but again, I just use it to quick travel over the map. It's the best way to get around the map really fast. And then, yeah, dropping this one off into, onto three. So deposit the phase, and then I'll go and cleanse at the back after I've taken out some snipers and everything over this side. So you can see all these buildings. You've got to take out all of the little enemies, the captains, the vandals, everything like that just basically the less enemies that are on the map the less damage you're going to take and yeah I'm going to just move over here see if I can get a better line of sight on the boss get my whisper out just in case you can see there are canisters on the back but they're just the standard boosters and you'll see when he's got his proper ones up because they'll be big and orange there's Jen right in front of me there um, but let's have a look now you can see on his left arm it's gone orange there I missed my shot but I managed to get it with the second shot um, but now we'll go to the back bit here which is where we can cleanse this is the second place where you can cleanse it's a bit of a cheese but it's definitely something that people use and it's worth doing if you can and it's actually a really good way of being able to quickly get through the berserkers and we use the cleansing method just because me and Jen know what we're doing with the berserkers really well and it means the other two Andy and, Jay Andy and Andrew can set the back doing theirs and me and Jen, uh, Jason sorry, can then set the front doing map room and boss 
So you saw on the map there, the Berserker with the uh, orange orb above his head is who he needs to go and get. And he's down here, but Andy died. And you can see he's got the skull above his head there, which means I cannot pick him up. But Jenna can. Luckily, she didn't have the skull as well. And she's able to go and pick him up. So what I'm doing now, instead of getting the Berserker, I'm trying to jump up here. Failing miserably. Uh, and then I'm going to just try and help with the boss for a bit. So you can see the canister on his back there. Take, took that one down. And it's just a case of you know clearing many enemies, keeping those canisters on the back down. Uh, because if those canisters aren't taken down, on the second canister you get a thing called, I think it's called Turbulence uh, something. And basically it just blows you all up and wipes. Um, which again you definitely don't want. Especially if you're really close to completing it. Um, it is a pain. So you want to take those canisters down as fast as possible. So you have people always watching, calling out, you know, where the canister is, if they've got a sight or if not. And again, as soon as you pick up a ball, shout that you've got the balls down and the map person will tell you where they are. And then you'll go deposit the ball and then wait for the tank. So the fourth ball will go in now. As you see, Jen's about to drop it and then I'll grab the tank. I always, I want again to get the minis, just to get all the little vandals and things that are around, captains and whatnot. Try and damage them as much as possible. And then it's just a case of getting the boss in a good position. So he's facing me now. And I say, yeah, that's a good position. We'll hit him, stun him down, and we'll use this as positioning. Because we're really close to damaging him anyway. He's not too far off. And we'll wait for... I'm just using my standard uh, scout until we get the face here, which is when he boosts like this, is when you get the CAP. So I'm on parallel now, so I'm into the right side. And you saw that red tether was because somebody who wasn't in the right place, you know, was near me, and that would just cause increased damage. Um, and now I've got angular, so I'm going to move to the front. Hope somebody else has got Angular, use my golden gun, get 300, nearly 400,000 damage, and that is the damage done on the boss. Took him down in two phases, pretty quick, pretty easy. Once you do that, have a little dance, and then drop down the center where the boss spawned. So you drop down here. Once you're down here, you've got to go and open up the box. Make sure everybody on your fire team opens up the box as well. And there you are, guys. You've pretty much completed the Scourge of the Past raid. And really good fun raid, something I'd highly recommend doing if you can. So pick up this box and you'll see in a minute on the left hand side of my screen where Andy picks up these Isert TX found the Anarchy which is the gun you're after so there you go the Anarchy um, but if you've enjoyed this video guys hit that like button if you are new please do drop a sub and a follow I'm back again soon with some more Destiny 2 thanks for watching everybody bye bye